Hello, thank you for viewing this video. This will be a source code walkthrough. I set up a scene where you have this wall as well as a camera, and the, this is the ball and that is the arrow. So this is this is self-contained. We also have a ground, which is basically a cube, and uh, we have this prefab. So this is a prefab that I made for you. Over here, we have a ball kicking mechanic script, which is a script that is actually handling the kicking mechanic. I'll open this up. Once I open this up, uh, you'll see that this is the script has been commented. So we're just right now, this actually this is actually c uh, to control arrow direction, place control, and oh sorry, this is actually incorrect. I'll correct in front of you right now. This script is to control the control the targeting mechanic as well as the direction of the of the kick all right so this is what this script is doing and we have three states called targeting force calculation and kicked and we have got variables over here and each of these variables are actually uh and have a header di have a header which will tell what they're doing so like we have a current state uh, variable over here we've got scene controls rugby ball reference which is a uh, reference to child we've got arrow reference we've got arrow clamping which is not being used this this is not being used anymore because uh, we are not actually targeting using the mouse and we also have a ray uh -huh. which is again not being used because we're not using the mouse anymore but I've, uh, I mean in the future we might so I have actually not touched th touched this over here we have got a function to handle the states and we also have a switch statement to call the functions based on which state we are in so we don't need uh, this actually because we are not actually targeting with the mouse that function was for targeting with the mouse and we have got uh, set kick target from keyboard this is the function which is actually going to set the target from keyboard we also have this for uh, expanding the arrow and then we also have this for handling all of the kicking uh, forces and the kicking mechanics of the ball. In scene controls we will restart the scene after some time has passed and this is I believe is being called here in the kicked uh, state. Then we also have handle kicking state which is over here and these are the uh, this is basically the uh, the states this is the state handler so once we have uh, we have pressed jump uh, or the space key which is map to jump uh, we will actually uh, go over to the force calculation state and once we uh, actually leave the jump or leave the uh, space a space space button we are going to go over to kicked state and we'll apply the force using this function which is in the children this function is not being used anymore this was for the mouse uh, mouse targeting and then we have set kick target from keyboard which is uh, which is referencing another script and this script is actually going to help you target using the uh, keyboard we go over to the children so this is the ray wall it's just a wall uh, we've got our expand which is a script as well as a gray object and this is responsible for expanding the arrow this is the code for expanding the arrow we expand uh, the arrow using this uh, these these statements and we also have point towards uh, target which is actually uh, the reference to point the which is a function to point the arrow towards the target but this was used for the mouse targeting system now it's not being used instead we are using this this is the function that is being used for keyboard targeting so if we take a look at um, these variables in this you'll see that we have a reference to pivot transform and arrow transform arrow transform is not being used we're using pivot transform which is passed over here this is the pivot and inside the pivot we have the arrow so this is the reference for that we actually change the pivot based on the value that is being given to this function or to the variables in this function using the keyboard this is this is the these are the maths functions and features that we are using for keyboard targeting and over here you can see that we are taking in the horizontal input as well as the vertical input to set the rotation of the arrow and once that is done we are we can actually expand the arrow and this is going to be called 
by the parent script which was here and uh, over here we have a switch case oh yeah there the, the, this is this is the script and you can see that the arrow expand is being called when we're calculating the force first we're targeting and after that we will actually reset the arrow and also apply a force on the actual uh, ball now I'm going to go over the other other variable or the other child which is going to be the kicking rugby ball parent script as well as the kicking ball parent once I double click this you'll find that there are a few variables over here that are referencing the different objects that are inside the system as well as a vector tree forces we've got a position for rugby ball over here over here we've got kicking functions these are these are the variables or the statements that are actually applying the force on the on the ball so we are adding a forward force as well as an upward force so that the ball actually uh, lobs and this is the these are the statements for that you can see add force here add force there then we've got a rotation vector over here which is being passed to a coroutine and this rotates the ball and that's really your self-contained solution thank you for watching this video